All right, guys, we are back with another raid battle guide. My name is Al, and today we'll be going over how to beat seven star bug type Samurai raid. Now, there are quite a few strategies you can use, so for the easiest one to beat it with an Oko will be a Charizard strat. We'll be going over the best Pokemon to bring, some other options you can bring, and in general, what items and natures and movesets you're going to want on these Pokemon. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Now, we'll go over the supports first. I don't have one of them here, but it is still a very good support to have, and we'll go over it first because again i don't have it but we'll just mention it which is screamtail now screamtail is a scarlet exclusive pokemon but it is very good for this raid as it has very high defense and very high special defense along with a very high hp stat and a very fast speed stat as well it lacks in damage but it makes for makes up for it in a very good support now we're going to want to on screamtail is obviously hp defense as he does have a bit a little bit less defense than special defense so you want to make up for that plus samurai due to the fact that he does have a more variety of Physical attacking moves will most likely use those. Dreamtail is also only weak to poison, steel, and ghost moves that Samurai really doesn't have access to due to too much damage to it, so you'll be fine there. The moves you're going to want to give it would be Fake Tears and Helping Hand. Now, the nature you're going to want to give it as well would most likely be a Impish nature, so you can raise your defense while lowering your special attack, because again, you won't really need that stat. Uh, the items I'd suggest would either be a Citrus or Leftovers for it. Now going on to the other three Pokemon that are available to anyone in any of the games are Reverum, Corviknight, and Umbreon. These three Pokemon I feel like are one of the best overall support Pokemon you must have at least or should probably use for any special attacking strat or physical attacking strat. They all get access to Breach and they get access to some sort of special defense lowering move that is 100% accurate like Fake Tears or Acid Spray. Dreamtail does not get access to to screech which is funny given its name scream tail you think you'd be able to screech but i guess game freak said no but let's go over the pokemon supporters first then we'll go over our main damage dealer charizard first up we have umbreon umbreon being a pure dark type does get a little bit hurt by potential bug type moves whether it be Exazor or whether it be mega horn now mega horn does have an 85 percent accuracy but given how greninja was with gunk shot i don't think it's gonna be too much of a use for umbreon in this one however he's still very good or you know if you don't have scream tail as a nice substitute you're gonna want to give him fake tears and helping hands reaches on there again because he is a pokemon that is also useful for any physical attacking strategies for any future upcoming raids and for the Greninja raid that happened a while ago he was very good for that as well as Decidueye. So for stats you're going to want to go for HP defense bring that defense up again. I highly suggest defense because Samurai does have access to a lot more physical attacking moves plus sword stance too so you're going to want to give him that. The ability shouldn't really matter but I guess inner focus does work best just in case they do try to flinch you. I'm not sure if Samurai has any flinching moves but just in case it's better to have it there. Now for the nature, again, you're going to want to go for another bold or a impish nature. I highly suggest bold lowers attack, impish lowers special attack, so you'll have that. Both of them do increase defense though, so that's the one main thing. For items, I highly suggest either a citrus berry or leftovers as you want to make sure that your Umbreon does heal up quite a bit in case he does crit or in case he does take too much damage. It's always good to have those in hand on hand. Next up, we have Corviknight. Corviknight is another excellent Pokemon for this raid. Being a flying steel type, he resists a good amount of typings and has a very good defense and special defense. Uh, as always, you're gonna give him HP defense for this raid. You can go HP special defense if you want for any of these, but that depends on what moves come out, but I do highly suggest HP defense. Uh, for moves, you're gonna want Fake Tears, Taunt. Uh, the other two moves don't really matter, but I do highly suggest as well giving him Screech for any future raids just in case. Ability, I highly suggest Mirror Armor in general, as it's a overall really good ability that you know bounces back only the stat lowering effect that a Pokemon receives which I don't think Samurai has any but it's still very good to have for any other future raids just in case you're gonna want to give him again either a bold or impish nature they aren't gonna be attacking so you don't have to worry about that too much although I highly suggest impish nature because I do believe these are mainly physical attackers except for Reverum uh no Reverum is a physical attacker so up next is Reverum though so again more or less the same, except you're going to want to give him Acid Spray and Taunt, just in case. You can also give him Sunny Day, um, but that's just going to be for something else, just in case. But again, Acid Spray lowers Special Defense. It also does count as a hacking move, so when the shield is up and he cleanses himself, you still can use Acid Spray for this, so keep that in mind. Uh, Overcoat doesn't really matter for this one, but you would rather want his hidden ability, which is Filter, which for any super effective move, uh, you take 25% less damage from it, so it lessens that. So I do believe he resists or doesn't take or takes neutral damage from all the other Pokemon uh, typings that Samurai may have. Again, for the stats, HP defense to raise that up. 
And for the nature, again, as always, a impish nature. He's not really going to be using special attacks. Also, you can have Screech on there. Again, he does work as a good Screech Pokemon for any future raids as well. Keep that in mind. Finally, we're going to be going over our Charizard right over here. You're going to want a modest nature Charizard. You're going to be building him up in HP special attack. You're going to want to have him with solar power. He was the first seven star raid. So if you did catch him, you're already good to go. All of his IVs are best. So you're good with that. You just want to give him the right EVs for this one. He's already going to have solar power if you did catch that one. If you were unlucky enough not to do the raid, we have a mod on our channel as well as a mod on our friend's channel, Hero Plays. They're the same person. Their name is Linky. We call them Simp. We call them <laughs> Donut. We call them Mary. We call them a variety of things, but she's usually lurking in chat. So you can just ask her and they will trade with you a Charmander egg that you can hatch and then level up if you do not have any candies highly just suggest going over to our friend andreas ssg as he does a lot of terror raids where he does herba mysticas bottle cap ability patches ability capsules all in raids that are six star that drop a lot of candies so go over there to him subscribe see if he's live right now who knows get those candies level up your pokemon to level 100 because and i cannot emphasize this enough getting your pokemon to level 100 for these raids is very crucial you do not want to have a pokemon lower than level 90. level 90 is fine anything lower than that really isn't acceptable because you're going to be taking more damage you're going to be causing him to put up the shield you're going to be causing the whole strategy to go off so again i do highly recommend checking out our good friend andreas ssg or even our good friend hero plays as they do a lot of streaming where they do terror raids and people can get candies and you know you can just join in all you have to do is say hi and make sure you're listening now the moves that you're going to want to have on this is sunny day and blast burn now for those of you guys wondering where blast burn is it is right over here where i am right now opening up the gate over here in the northern section right to the northeast uh yeah heading northeast of grusha's gym Right over here, you can see it. There's a little place right here where it intersects with sand, snow, grass right here. This little intersection. You'll find this nice, neat little cave over here. Uh, there's some gibbles and some other Pokemon in here. You'll see three yellow Pokeballs. There'll be Frenzy Plant over here, Blast Burn over here, and Hydro Cannon over there. Now, for those of you guys wondering, yes, you can craft more of them once you do collect them. So don't worry about wanting to save those because you'll be able to craft them again as long as you get the right material now continuing on with charizard you're going to want to give him charcoal charcoal or a life orb both of them are very good though life orb does give you 10 percent more damage but you also lose 10 percent of your health every time you use an attacking move though solar power will decrease your hp every turn so keep that in mind you're going to want to give him a modest nature to raise his special attack and lower his attack stat and with that out of the way you already know the supports you already know the po uh the main damage dealer let's get into the strategy now what you want to now what you're going to want to do first turn is either with your umbreon or screamtail whichever one you may have you're going to want to use fake tears first turn along with corviknight and reverum these two can be switched out with uh another screamtail another umbreon or with like having two it's a variety you can mix and match them they don't have to be these ones specifically, though I do highly recommend having either an Umbreon or a Screamtail, as they are the only two that I know of that have both Fake Tears and Helping Hands. If you know of another one, comment it down below. But yes, you're going to want to have all of them do Fake Tears, or in Reverum's case, you're going to want to have him use Acid Spray. For Charizard, you're going to want to use Sunny Day, which will allow you to take less damage from Water-type moves, which will be very beneficial. Now, the good thing about this first turn is that if he does do the same thing as Decidueye and cleanses first turn, it won't really affect you too much as, you know, no one's using anything to boost up their attack, their defense, or their speed. They're using it to lower Samurott's speed and to lower its damage because of Sunny Day with weather effects. So you won't have to worry about that, which is a very good thing. Now, turn two, you're going to want to, as a Charizard, as the main Charizard, you're going to want to wait a little bit until you see these things uh, happen. So for your Umbreon or Dreamtail, you're going to want to use Helping Hands on the Charizard. If you look at the top left of your screen, you'll see if it says Helping Hands, plus if you're the Charizard, you'll see the hands appear clapping on you. <laughs> clapping on you. And you'll know that you've gotten Helping Hands. For the other two, I'd recommend someone healing if you guys do take damage beforehand. Uh, so that way you guys have a bit more survivability. And... Another person could also do an attack cheer to boost up your attack even more. And with that, once you do see both of those things activate, Charizard will then use the move Blast Burn. And thanks to our good friend Metamaxis for the damage calculation, it should be more than enough to one-shot Samurott, which is good. Now, there are a few potential issues that you might face against Samurott. Just looking at his moveset, he does get access to the priority moves like Aqua Jet, 
He might have, he might not, who knows. He has access to Swords Dance, will increase his attack, which is one reason why I do say if you think if you have more than 50% HP, I highly recommend someone potentially just using Taunt, mainly someone who's faster than it, like a Reverum, so that Samura won't be able to use either Focus Energy or even Swords Dance, just in case. Again, you probably won't have to do this since it's a two-turn strat, but it's just there to keep in mind in case anything happens. Uh, Samura also has uh, access to a move called Soak, which may cause a little bit of an issue, but it shouldn't be too much. Soak, basically what it does is turn your Pokemon's typing to a water type, so you'll lose that same type advantage bonus, but you'll be fine. I do believe, though, it Yes, the it does not work on Pokemon with the ability multi-type, but none of our Pokemon have the ability multi-type, so that's a, that's not good. You'll lose a bit of the damage, which is why I do recommend Life Orb just in case, just to make up for that little bit of damage over Charcoal. Uh, but there's only a small chance that he may start off with Soak to get rid of your same type advantage bonus. Uh, the, the reason I'm saying this as well is because Pokemon, they, they've noticed that we've been beating these raids pretty easily, pretty fast, efficiently, and they've been implementing stuff like with the Pikachu having the full shield at the first health. I think that's more because of his low stats. For Decidueye, they cleansed immediately first turn. So it's good to reason that they might do something like that to hinder us from being able to set up as fast as possible. But with this strat, that shouldn't be too much of a problem unless he cleanses himself. With that being said, guys, I hope you guys found this video very helpful. I hope you guys beat your Samurai, catch them as easily as possible. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Turn on the notifications if you haven't already. Do check out our good friend Metamaxis and our good friend Andreas SSG as they did help me with this video. Appreciate you guys. Also, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, uh, put them down in the comment section down below as well. All the stats, all the items, all the abilities, all of the natures that I mentioned in this video will also be put in the description down below if you guys want to go down there and just read it through there. That way you guys don't have to go back constantly back and forth into the video. And make sure to share it out with your friends if they're having a bit of trouble with Samurott too. So goodbye, take care, have a nice day. Peace.